that means that I kind of have to like look inside myself and and find the best ways of of you know of trying to make something that I really feel understandable by you know the masses. Good afternoon, Clubs. Hello. Good afternoon. How are you doing this morning? Well, this afternoon. Oh, I'm I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, and I've been telling a lot of people that this is you're you're one of the people. No, you actually are one of the few, maybe the only artist that really this year's actually and last year has captivated me. You know, right. and first it's an honour to be able to sit down with talent like yourself. Thank you. You know, so let's talk about a bit of your journey because mm -hmm. you know I've read up on you, um, mm -hmm. but probably a lot of our viewers may not really know how far mm -hmm. we've got to where he is. So if you want to mm -hmm. give us a brief summary. Yeah, well, I mean, the 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 biggest part of the journey has been over the last two years when I met my, my, my manager and I I got signed, um, and the the, the kind of the, the the pace of it picked up because I I started to basically um, put a bit of you know uh, of stuff up on YouTube, I put up a, put up a cover of a of a song called The Wilhelm Scream by James Blake. Um, and people started to pay attention. Um, before that, I was just I was studying music as as a means to to get you know qualification and to do teaching and maybe sing some you know Stevie Wonder covers at the weekend to earn to earn a buck and to, to you know to earn my bread. But um, I knew that I wanted to do something different, and then you know the the wheels started turning and. You know, with a with a, a lot of hard work and um, sort of a bit of help, I've ended up where I am right now, which is doing what I really need to be doing, um, and that's been really cool. It's interesting you were saying before that you kind of understand that the work starts here. Yeah. Because you know, everyone, you're getting applauded based on your phenomenal talent, but it's a lot more work. Going into that phase, are you still working on the album, or mm. is that already done and dusted? I'm still working on the album. I mean, th there is always there's always more to be done. Well, there's always more that could be done. At some point, you have to say stop. Yeah, but you know, I'm 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 a grafter and I intend to make the best thing possible. So and that takes some time. But um, there is a lot of stuff already in the mix. You know that I'm really proud of. It's just about finding those finishing touches to make it really special. Creatively, I remember when I looked at your first official video. You weren't mm. in the video. Mm. So you just let it, you just let the music and the visuals almost narrate the story. What, yes. What, what, for you, what was the thinking behind that? Um, I wasn't necessarily going to be in that video at all um, because the video didn't feel like it needed to be about me or even the story that it, it, it deri was derived from. It was just about um, um, the video being interesting, um, setting my story out as someone who uh, did uh, you know art that pushed you know and made people made people made people think and um, I just wanted it to feel really passionate and I didn't feel like I needed to necessarily make that come across personally with my face not yet anyway um, that can happen later on. You're right, and you know we have spoken about. It's, it's almost spiritual when you write, you know, and even when you perform, you're a very passionate performer. Mm. Tell me a bit about the process. I know it sounds, mm. you know, cliche, but you mm. know, I think you're a special case in terms of your music. How do you actually bring that all out of yourself? Um, to me, um, uh, words really matter, and when I'm, you know, when I'm writing songs, I'm, I'm thinking about what it is that I want people to to hear. And what it is I'm trying to, you know, to to speak to them, because ultimately I'm trying to speak to my audience, um, and that means that I kind of have to like look inside myself and and find the best ways of of you know of trying to make something that I really feel understandable by you know the masses, and that's a, that's a, that's always. In my mind, but I think actually the easiest way to do that is just to be really truthful and really be honest, um, and to say what's on your mind actually, and then people are inspired by that. Um, it's not too thought out. 
it's not, you know, it's not rocket science. It's kind of, it's feeling, you know. It's emotive, isn't it? Exactly.